Hello, my name is Stephen Kinsler. I'm the Professor of Economics and Head of the Department of Economics here at UL's triple accredited Kemi Business School. I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about the postgraduate programs we have on offer. Um, they're very exciting. They can help change your life. And probably one of the most interesting elements is the kind of skills that you're going to get as you transition through these programs. At a very general level then, it's probably better that you think about skills rather than qualifications. So think about what you're going to be able to do in a very concrete way, rather than the letters that you're going to have after your name. A degree in economics, particularly at the master's or PhD level, will give you a very specific set of skills. And there, and a degree at the Kemi Business School's Department of Economics will give you a different set of skills than one at another university. And it's really this I'd like to tell you a bit more about. So really focus on the skills rather than the qualification, because skills are much more valuable in the long run, not just in the career sense, but also in the sense of your life. The kinds of things that we will teach you in these programs will literally change your life because they'll change how you think about the world. So why should we focus on skills and what skills are we going to teach you in economics? The first is that economics is a numerate discipline. We deal with quantitative and qualitative data, so data about the quality of the world in a certain sense. And um, we look at happiness, we look at how much money people are making, we look at careers, we look at labor economics, we look at health, we look at everything from the giant questions about inflation and, and uh, unemployment to the really, really micro questions about, you know, how do you choose a mate and, and what do you do with your life and how, how should we think about retirement and so forth. Really, it is the study of um, um, people in the ordinary business of their lives. And we work with these data to really understand the world by building theories and models of collective and individual behavior. So a model is basically a way of a framework of thinking about the world. And what we'll teach you is not just how to understand those models as professional economists develop them. So when you read them in the newspaper, you read them in a journal article, you read them in a scientific publication, you'll actually be able to understand what you're reading. We also teach you how to generate the data and build the models yourself so that you can actually add to that conversation, because this is the most important point about all further study. You become aware that you are part of a big, large conversation about the nature of progress, the nature of the world, and what ultimately policymakers should do next. The second thing kind of skill you should learn is that you need to be policy aware, always. Economics has often been uh, caricatured as being just a bunch of uh, fifth rate mathematicians mucking about with simple models to uh, do nothing really in the real world. The reality is that modern economics is extremely policy aware and we think about and talk to policymakers all the time. And in our degrees, the ones that I'll talk to you about in a moment, you will actually learn from those exact policymakers. So we understand that economics doesn't exist in a vacuum. You need to communicate um, with them, uh, 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 with the pub policymakers like politicians and civil servants. We need to talk about the public and you need to talk with other economists. Another very, very important point. Um, finally, economics is collaborative. It's output focused. So you're always working in teams in economics. You're never working on your own. This is a, a big difference from when I was studying it 20 years ago. It's a big team focused um, science now because it's fully empirical and we need to think about that in a big way. So you're working with people, with data and with words and good writing is as important as good economic analysis in the end. And we will teach you all of that. And those are the kinds of skills that you learn. So things like computer programming, things like working with data, things like writing, things like working with teams, things like strategic communication, getting your ideas across into the world. These are the skills that you will learn as part of these degrees. So now let me tell you a little bit about these degrees. Uh, we offer three or three types of degree, if you like. And the first is a master's by research and a PhD program. I won't spend too much time in this presentation talking about this, but just to make you aware that it exists. And then I'll talk about the MSc in economics and policy analysis and the master of arts in international tourism. So the master's by research and the PhD, it's a research degree. The idea is you want to contribute to original economic thinking. You want to have ideas and really impact the world by generating those ideas yourself. So you learn to produce new data, new models, new ways of thinking, and you write those up for scholarly publication. 
you'll explore a very specific topic in depth. You become sometimes the world expert in that particular very niche topic. Uh, and as you do so, you will uh, acquire a remarkable level of distinction uh, as you uh, as uh, you go through your program of, of research. So we've had some really, truly excellent um, PhD students uh, come through our, our department, um, people who are now heading up uh, departments themselves, people who have advised um, members of the European Commission around Brexit, and uh, people who are publishing in the best journals in the world. And I give you a couple of examples here, Dr. Helen McGurk, Dr. Vincent O'Sullivan, and Dr. Kevin Mulligan. Um, we have many more and that we're very, very proud of in our economics department. The uh, flagship taught masters is the MSc in economics and policy analysis. So this focuses um, an, MS, uh, uh, an MSc level uh, emphasis on applied skills. So you, the idea here is, is, is that you are going to be working with policymakers in the real world from day one. And so it's data analysis, econometrics, which is the application of statistical tools to economic theory, and policy analysis, figuring out if somebody increases child benefit, what does that actually mean for people on the ground tomorrow? That kind of thinking. So it's a very, very strong focus on policy uh, aspects of things like macroeconomics, industrial policy, education policy, health policy. So if you care about these things, we teach it to you directly. You don't learn them as, as some offshoot of a very theoretical model. And we have a double degree option, so you can actually do a second degree. So you can come up with two different master's degrees um, with uh, HEC Liège in Belgium. Um, and we're ranked by Ed Universal in the top 50 masters in Western Europe. We're very proud of that. Of course, we're part of a triple accredited um, business school, one of only 119 in the world out of the 10,000 business schools that there are, which is absolutely remarkable. So your qualification will be very, very highly uh, sought after. And we have an extremely strong uh, employment record. We've got past graduates working across the public and the private sector. So if you think about who employs our graduates, the Irish Central Bank, the Irish Government and e Economic and Evaluation Service, of which I'm the chair, um, the Commission for uh, Energy Regulation, the Central Statistics Office, Bank of Ireland, Northern Trust, Sherry Fitzgerald, Davy Stockbrokers, the Department of Finance, Jobs, um, we have had people who are who are in fact have gone on from our masters to do the PhD themselves. An example of that would be Dr. Kevin Mulligan, uh, who I mentioned in the previous slide, and uh, they have become teaching assistants and lecturers themselves in other in other uh, universities. So it's been a very very um, successful successful uh, uh, um, group of students. So a, not a notable graduate would be um, Jenny Connor, so the principal officer. Uh, in the Department of Public Expenditure Reform and uh, uh, the head of the Irish Government Economic Evaluation Service, uh, Dr. Kevin Mulligan, postdoctoral researcher here at UL, and Sean Golden, the new chief economist at the Limerick Chamber of Commerce. The second degree um, uh, that we offer at the master's level is the MA in International Tourism. So it's ranked number 28 in uh, the Ed Universal's best masters worldwide uh, in the field of tourism management. So literally in the top 30 in the whole world for tourism management, which is just superb. Um, so when international travel resumes post COVID, tourism is going to need a well well-qualified, well-skilled up and creative workforce. Um, you're going to see a lot of people prioritizing sustainability, innovation, entrepreneurship, and lots of that in tourism, which, which employs hundreds of thousands of people around the world um, and, and, and generates billions for, for uh, in economic activity. Each of these will be uh, crucial uh, as we resume. And so this is a, one of our flagship programs and we're very, very proud of the MA in International Tourism. It produces, uh, you know, you can expect to, to gain employment as a marketing executive, travel agency manager, incoming tour operators. You can work in third level. Many of our um, graduates have gone on to lecture in third level, in fact. Um, tourism consultancy, tour guide management, tourism facility management, and managerial and project management, management roles all over the world. It's been really remarkable. And so a notable graduate will be Dr. Emma Reardon, who's, who's a lecturer in the um, University of Surrey, which is one of the best places for tourism in the world. Uh, Mr. Cormac Phelan, who's the Digital Campaigns Manager for Tourism Ireland, and Dr. Megan Woods, the Program Manager uh, for Go Next Incorporated. So really special group of people. Um, and we, again, like I said, we're extremely proud of all of these graduates. Uh, now, if you have more questions, we have more answers. Um, if you have a general question, shoot it to me. I'm stephen.kinsla.ul.ie. If you want to understand more about the Masters by Research, have a look at business.ul.ie. 
the Masters in Economics and Policy Analysis is my colleague, uh, Dr. Dara Flannery. Uh, and the MA in Tourism is Mary Wallace. And we're very, very lucky to have these colleagues working with us on what is genuinely an exceptional program. So in summary, think about the skills that you need rather than the qualifications that you have. Think about your experiences and your networks. Will you be able to go abroad as part of your program? Will you be able to understand the international dimension, which in Ireland we, we have to be aware of at all times? Will you be able to build and sustain a network of contacts and colleagues and friends over a longer period of time through this master's? How intense it is, is it going to be? What is the impact that this course will make on your life? Think about it in this way. And finally, think about economics differently. And we don't teach in the normal way, and we wouldn't expect you to learn in the normal way either. It is very different. So I genuinely encourage you to find out more. Thank you very much for your time and attention.